Hey there, festive foodies. Welcome back to our channel. The holiday season is upon us, and today we have a fascinating topic to explore. Can you eat your Christmas tree? Yes, you heard that right. You might be wondering if it's possible or if you can eat your Christmas tree. Well, stick around, because today we're diving into the festive world of edible evergreens and discovering some surprising ways to make your holiday celebrations even more sustainable. During this video, we'll uncover the surprising answers and discover the many ways you can make use of your Christmas tree even after the festivities are over. So let's dive right in. Have you ever wondered where this tradition of the Christmas tree even came from? Turns out Christmas trees have a long and fascinating history. Pagans used evergreens to symbolize life during the cold winter months. Later Christians adopted the tradition, decorating the trees with lights and ornaments to represent the birth of Jesus and the promise of new life. Before we jump into the culinary possibilities, let's take a quick look at the history and tradition behind the Christmas tree. Did you know that the use of evergreen trees during winter celebrations dates back centuries? Ancient civilizations believed that evergreen trees symbolized fertility and the promise of spring. Over time, this tradition evolved, and by the 16th century, people started bringing decorated trees into their homes to celebrate Christmas. Now let's talk about where Christmas trees come from. The majority of Christmas trees are grown on tree farms, carefully cultivated and nurtured for several years. These farms ensure sustainable practices, planting new trees to replace the ones cut down. So when you buy a Christmas tree, you're supporting local growers and contributing to a greener environment. Once the holiday season or Christmas is over, most of us ask what can we do with your Christmas tree? Either waste or what else? Well, instead of simply throwing it away, consider giving it a new lease on life. Yes, you heard it right, one option is to recycle it in many ways. You can't imagine an other one is surely our main topic, which leads to some recipes related to the Christmas tree. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Can you eat your Christmas tree? Surprisingly, the answer is yes. The pine needles and cones of certain evergreen trees, like pine, fir, and spruce, can be used in various culinary creations. From infused syrups and teas to desserts and savory dishes, these ingredients offer unique flavors and aromas that will surely surprise your taste buds. If you're feeling adventurous, here are a few Christmas tree-inspired recipes to try. How about a refreshing pine needle sorbet or a pine-infused roasted chicken? You can even experiment with pine cone syrup for pancakes or pine needle salt for seasoning. These recipes not only add a touch of holiday spirit to your meals, but also allow you to make the most of your Christmas tree. Pine needles can add a unique flavor to dishes, infusing a hint of forest freshness. And yes, you heard it right. You can definitely even make syrup or tea from the needles for a truly festive flavor explosion. But that's not all. Ever thought about using those pine cones for culinary creations? They can be a crunchy and aromatic addition to salads, or you can get creative and make pine cone jam. It's a great way to embrace the spirit of the season in your cooking. Moreover, the needles from Christmas trees can be used to pickle vegetables or eggs as an infusion or in many drinks. Talking about the pickles, either use infused Christmas tree vinegar or apple cider vinegar or use fresh needles and leaves of the tree for pickle. Use whichever vegetable you like and is in season. Carrots and cucumbers work well and add beetroot for some extra color. Here's another wonderful and amazing recipe you might be waiting for which is none other than the famous and unique Christmas tree ice cream. It's a very simple recipe with a perfect taste and fine look. You can use blue spruce, as I think it is the champion of conifers. It tastes a little like vanilla, but as with all these recipes, you can interchange the type of Christmas tree you use depending on what you have access to. Just repair the needles and in a heavy bottom saucepan whisk, the cream, milk, sugar and egg yolks until well combined. Add the needles to the cream mixture and heat gently, stirring continuously. So when bubbles begin to appear around the edge of the pan, the custard is ready and can be removed from the heat. Sieve the mixture two or three times through a fine sea fine mesh strainer so that none of the needles end up in the final ice cream mixture. If using an ice cream maker, add the sieved mixture to the churning pot and begin the churning process. Before it freezes, add the chopped stem ginger and continue churning until it is frozen. Transfer the frozen ice cream to the freezer. If you don't own an ice cream maker, transfer the mixture to a tub or dish and leave to cool completely. Once cooled, transfer to the freezer. Stir the mixture every hour and when it is beginning to freeze about two hours but not completely solid, add the chopped stem ginger and mix well. Continue stirring each hour until the ice cream is completely frozen. This will take about four hours. 
Once it is frozen, keep it in the freezer until ready to serve. Julia Georgalis is a famous baker and writer of How to Eat Your Christmas Tree. She told about the idea of using trees in cooking by quoting that you can pretty much eat the whole thing. You can use the needles as you would use rosemary or bay leaves for flavor. Discussing the climate crisis, she also said that it made everyone a lot more aware of how they are eating, what they are eating and how they buy and grow stuff. Georgalis also wrote that she was baffled every year by the practice of cutting down trees for Christmas. I don't know why that in a climate crisis, when trees are our best armory, we're cutting down thousands a year to keep hostage in our houses, she said. According to Express, Doll UK, one of the most famous chef René Redzipi at the three Michelin starred Noma restaurant in Copenhagen, says he has been using pine needles in his cooking for 20 years. He's steak. Think of it as rosemary. You can use it in just about anything. So the next time you're taking down your Christmas tree, think twice before tossing it to the curb. Whether you're recycling it, infusing your recipes with its essence, or turning its cones into tasty treats, there are so many ways to make your holiday tree a sustainable part of your celebrations. You won't believe, but the fragrant needles aren't just for sniffing. They're packed with flavor and nutrients. You can infuse them into vodka for a festive twist, make pine needle tea for a soothing winter beverage, or even whip up some pine syrup for pancakes or cocktails. No doubt, the possibilities are endless. Pine cones aren't just decorations, fellas. They're tiny treasure chests of creativity. Turn them into rustic ornaments, bird feeders, or even woodland-themed centerpieces. Get the kids involved and make it a family craft night with your Christmas tree. Indeed, it might be clear to you now that your Christmas tree isn't just some festive decoration, fellas. It's a culinary chameleon, a craft canvas, and a champion of sustainability. Just remember that when choosing a tree to eat, make sure it's organic and hasn't been treated with pesticides. Start with small quantities of pine needles in your recipes to get used to the flavor. Be careful not to ingest pine cones as they're not exactly digestible. So, be careful. There you have it all, folks. Hope so you found it tremendously amazing and interesting. Who would have thought that Christmas tree could have so many uses beyond the holiday season in Christmas? From learning about the origin and tradition of Christmas trees, to exploring the culinary possibilities. We hope this video has given you a new perspective on this beloved symbol of the holiday season. So why not try to have your Christmas tree into some delectable recipes and let the magic of the season linger a little longer. But hey guys, before we wrap up, we wanna hear from you. Have you ever tried incorporating your Christmas tree into recipes or not? Or do you have a favorite way to recycle it? Share your experiences, ideas, and creations in the comments below. Let's spread the word that festive foliage can be delicious and fun. If you have any other intriguing topics you'd like us to cover, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this festive exploration, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more holiday hacks, and ring that notification bell so you never miss a tasty episode. Happy holidays and happy eating.